last part to go in the winder base is the uh, filament intake plate. This can go on uh, two ways. It can go into the slots, stand up. It's better if the winder is mounted to the wall because we want the filament always to come up from below. If the, if the winder is going to be sitting horizontally on a shelf or something, then you can put the plate on this way and use the 16 millimeter screws to hold it on through, through these holes here. cut about 14 inches of the PTFE tubing. Um, if you're doing 1.75 filament, I use a smaller tube and then can also accommodate a uh, larger tubing for 3 millimeter filament. And uh, put it into the top for the bottom hole, loop it around, come up from under on the top hole. And the filament's going to come in through here, go around the loop, and then come out through the winder, and that'll help put just enough drag in to, to keep some tension on it. Next is a laser sensor mount, which is these three pieces here. And set them into this base piece. You'll see that there's just a little line right here, and that shows you the slot that the laser mount goes into. and then the electronics mount, the sensors, go on the other side. On the laser mount there's a slot here. This will, um, this makes it possible to spread it apart just a little bit so that it can grip the laser. So you're going to want to get uh, something like a flathead screwdriver, or I have a chisel here. So you can just put it in there and get some leverage to lever it apart a little bit and slide the laser in. You want to get the laser far enough in uh, that you can turn this ring here to adjust the position of the line. Next, run the wires of the laser and through the little hole and out through the uh, electronics mount. Plug one end of the ribbon cable into the sensor board. And then screw the, the uh, ends of the laser wires into the, uh, the screw terminal using a very small standard screwdriver. This would be something like an eyeglasses screwdriver or something of a similar size. With the red wire going where it says positive. These terminals start out tightened all the way down. So you'll have to loosen them first before you'll be able to put the wires in. Once the wires are in, just push the board up against the holes and mount it in with some 12 millimeter screws. There might be a mismatch here between the holes in the board and the laser cut, um, but don't worry too much about that. The, the one screw holding the board on is, is plenty secure. And use the square nuts and 25 millimeter screws to, uh, to secure the pieces together. There are a couple more zip tie points for managing cable. This one here for the ribbon cable. And you can run the cable to either side depending on which way it's coming from the winder. And there's another one here for the laser wire. Cut the remaining PTFE tube, the 4mm tube, up into four equal pieces. Probably be about 3.5, 4 inches, maybe 800 millimeters. And push them into 
and the four holes on the edges. Take the printed spool hub and press the last bearing in to the flat side. Pull the spool support down and slide the spool on. Slide the spool hub on after it. Push the spool up against the gear. Take the last M8 nut and tighten it down against the spool hub. As you tighten it down, make sure it's holding the spool flat against the hubs. You want to tighten it enough that it won't easily slip if the filament gets a little bit difficult to pull, but you don't want it so tight that it'll jam up if a, a kink hits the tube. Need it to slip between the spool and hub and the gear if the filament absolutely will not pull through. And with that, the assembly is complete. We can move on to operation.